babies, how's it going? So I'm going to show you what I got from Etoya. This is the bag that it came with. And so let's look at what I got. So I got a bunch of whiteouts and erasers because um, whiteout, unfortunately at my Japanese store is really expensive. And the erasers are about more than a buck. But these erasers, they were less than a dollar. They were 100 yen or lower, which is really, really amazing for me because I use my eraser a lot. And the coolest one was this thing called Mono Smart. And it's so thin and rectangular. So let's, uh, so that is the coolest one over here. Also, I've never seen these types of paper clips. So I really wanted to get something that was specific to Japan. So there are a lot of Shibas over there. So I just got a Shiba. Um, let's see. And then I got this type of whiteout. It's it's interesting because it's just a rectangle. It's actually over here. I have one right here. You just open it up. And it's really small, it's compact, it's really good. And then I'll just close that later. And like I just had to get so much because I would know that, you know, for example, this is about what eight nine dollars at my store and I got it for less than two dollars so I actually got maybe like two of these and two refills <laughs> so I went all out and I got maybe a couple of the sep color notebooks because <laughs> they were cheap they were about four bucks and there's some stuff that I've never seen, such as this type of pen. This is a 0.38 friction ball pen. So in order for you to use it, you use this little notch right here. And that's how you do that. They had all types of the midliner highlighter pens. And so I just got one and at the end like that so got that and there's this thing called a monograph pencil I've never seen this either and what happens is that it's a twist for the eraser And then there's a, and then in order for you to use it, you could either shake it or you could use this pull down thing right here for you to use a pencil. And this is 0.5. And the cool thing is, let's see if you can see this. There you go. In order for you to see that you could either lock it or you could put the lock off so that you you would be able to use the shaker um, so that if it moves around your purse or your backpack or whatever. Something that I haven't seen before either is also this type of pen. It's called a Sierra Incense Cedar. Maybe it's the type of wood. And this is a 0.5. It's actually a pen. You know, you would think maybe it was a pencil, but it's not. So that's, <laughs> I liked it a lot. I mean, I, I like thin uh, pens, so that's pretty cool. And so, okay, let's go ahead and look at the notebook. So you know about the Septicolor, because I've reviewed that before. Okay, let me do, let me just clear this out so that we can look at the notebooks. So before we look at the notebooks in the folder that I got, there is this Pilot Friction Stamp. I've, I've never seen it before, and it's so cool because so um, in Japan, 
they have a bunch of you know different kinds this one's blue you know they have red orange um, all different colors with different uh, of different types of stamps the one that I got is the one with an umbrella and so I want to show you how it looks like in this uh, septic color that you know we're most definitely this this type of notebook is definitely in America and so I don't know where to get these uh, Kirkland stamps but I'll try to find it but it might not be here yet um, but so let's go ahead and try it out let me figure out what side let's do this one yeah, look at that and so Doesn't smear. It's good. And so let me go ahead and erase it. Ah, there you go. Nice and clean. Very good. Alrighty. So I got another septic color notebook because these go for a lot of money. So I got two or three for the price of one, which is not bad. Um, I've never seen these these ones before. And so they, it's an A4 folder. And the first page is maybe like a clearer piece of plastic. And then it has a bunch of these types of folders. I, I, I like these, so I, I like to, because I, I like, I like how they're flexible and they can easily be put into the backpack. So there are one, two, three pages with front and back of this type of folder. So I got different kinds of, of the color. And then the one that I've seen before, but it was a lot of money over here, but it was so much cheaper to get it in Japan is this type of notebook. It's called the Access Notebook. And what happens is they have um, like a gray version and a white version with a pink strap. And then there's one with a gray version with a green strap. And so what happens is that I don't want to open it uh, at the moment, but what happens is that you get to fold to wherever you would want to go and the reason behind that is because there's this, like, this little indent over here so that you would be able to fold it because it's a uh, hard bound and so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside so I went ahead and opened it up and I don't know what this says, but it's basically describing to you what you can do with it. It's an A5 notebook. And so there's a little strap, and when you open it up, this is what it looks like inside. It's about, let's see, 2380 is, I think, about 20 bucks. But. <laughs> It will most likely be a lot more money over here in America. And so you can get to write your name, email, a lot of search stuff. This is what the front page looks like. And what I believe, yeah, so it says index. So yeah, this is the index of what is in your notebook. And index 10. Cool. So this is the end of the index. And then page one, so everything is uh, graph paper. And in order for you to see how I can bend it and go through each of the pages, and that's because of this thing right here. It's more convenient for yourself to go through each of the pages. And at the end, focus a little bit. All right. So access notebook at Bungu, sorry, 
Bungu. Oh, so I guess that's the person who made it, and then that's the company. And you know, cool. You go to the source area. But anyway, so I thought. <laughs> Oh, cool! I haven't seen this before. What? So there's like a little clear thing here. Whoa. Alrighty. Oh, 200 pages. Alright, so we know there are 200 pages in this. And is it... Yeah, back. front and back. That's good. Alrighty. So maybe you could just like put whatever you need to put in here. Is it both sides? No, just one side. It's just this side. All right, yeah. Just didn't want to bend it. So now that you've seen the inside of this, I want to show you what these look like. So I know that some companies online have brought these now before they didn't. And so let me, I'm gonna pause this video so I can show you the inside of this. <laughs> so I went ahead and opened it up. It has some caution thing that says, keep out of reach of young children and infants. Which makes sense because it's a choking hazard because it's pretty small. And this is what it looks like. Golden, nice. I mean, just like any other paper clip, but it's just a design. And thought they were cute, and I got it. Alrighty. So, next time I'm going to be showing you what I got from the Pokemon Center. And then, <laughs> there's this cool thing that I got from 7-Eleven. Believe it or not, 7-Elevens in Japan are actually quite different than America and they're better quality and the food is great uh, which you wouldn't really expect that in America but uh, I'll be able to show you that next time. Alright, see you next time.